Gotta get in shape for 2021 planting season. <laughs> Morning, kitties. Would you like to tell the viewers thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video? And right now they're actually having their biggest sale of the year leading up to the holidays? No? Okay. Oh, there's the warm up. There's the warm up. Oh, gotta stretch first. Can't beat up on your buddy without stretching. Itching the ear a little bit. You just waiting, huh? Just wait. Oh, cheap shot. Get her. I'm still a little stiff. First thing this morning, I'm headed about an hour south to take a look at uh, a combine that our local dealer has for sale. It's not right here at our local location, but they own 17 or 19 stores. Don't quote me on that. The combine is kind of the next thing on our list to update. Our machine's a good machine. It's a 2011 uh, 9870, relatively low hours. It's a good piece. We've done some updates to it ourselves. It's a good machine, but the reality is that, it, like any other business, you want to maintain the integrity of your equipment line. So you're always kind of updating stuff, and the combine's kind of next on our list. So let's go check that out. Not it. Not it. Not it. Uh, nope. Mm-mm. I'm thinking she's probably inside. Let's go find out. It is back there. It is one of those machines. They just took the duals off of it right now. So I didn't recognize it. I was looking for metric, dual metric 800s. So I'm guessing this was the one. They said it's cleaned up and the duals are off. And that is an 800 right there. All right, so 2018 S780. Uh, this was a local machine. I know the farmers who had it before they traded it in, I know the kind of condition they keep their stuff in, how they take care of stuff. Obviously, it doesn't have too many hours. It's got two seasons on it. Um, quite a few acres for two seasons, I believe. The big thing here is these tires took a lot of stubble damage two years ago when the ground was frozen and everybody was hard on stuff, even with their stock stompers. But they've got some cosmetic, what appears to be mostly cosmetic damage to the tires, but belts and pulleys over here. Everything appears good. I don't see any signs of burned up belts or burned up pulleys anything like that it looks like the grease zerks have had grease on them it's got the power cast tailboard which most of them around here do now most of the guys around here like that for throwing the corn residue being able to manage that especially in the wind same with power rear wheel drive we've had that for several years i will not go back to a two-wheel drive machine in our area hopper is closed tight Oil looks good and it looks clean. Sure wish it didn't have this. But that's a conversation for another day. Well, that's a bigger feeder hose chain than what we got. Oh, awesome. Comes with some used sickle sections. Knives appear okay. Cleaning area looks fine. Let's head up into the mobile command center here. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Looks like an S700 series. It does not have a second screen. It's got the pegs, lucky. It's got the fridge for, I don't know, putting bodies in. I kid, I kid. slow but it's a little cold and it's maybe been sitting for a bit it's got the metal corner post for mounting a GoPro that's nice very nice oh look at that patriotic Christmas tree thing 681 engine hours let's uh let's open up the hopper that seemed to go well it moves that's good Feeder house tilts side to side. It also seems to go up and down. Rear wheels on the bunny. Let's fire it up and listen for any wrenches going through. Ooh, we 
got some scuffs on the unload auger. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but she has scraped something. I'm guessing it's cosmetic, but the tube's not perfectly round. Huh. I'm gonna try it at idle. I'm gonna try it throttled up. It seems to run smooth, it seems fine. But it does make me a touch nervous. Pretty much just gotta make a decision now. Easy to say, not easy to do. There's a relatively new exact emerge 24 row high speed planter. Sweet. And there's a Hagee STS 12. Also sweet. All right, I'll go give them the keys back. I made a short list here of things I don't like. Number one is that ding in the end of the unload auger, which doesn't seem to be an issue, but makes me nervous, especially on resale. Number two, the cosmetic issues with the tires, which I think is just a cosmetic issue, but again, could be a resale thing if somebody's questioning it. I wish there was a second screen in it. I'm guessing I can add one. I don't know what that would cost, but I will look into that. And I wish it had hydraulic feeder house tilt, which I can probably add for more money than I want to pay. All right, got them the keys back and I got the inspection report and the service invoices here to look over, see what all they had to do to it in the shop. Take a peek at that. Talk to dad. Think on it for a couple days. Hello. Hi. Hi. How did the combine look? Pretty clean. Good deal. Yeah. Um, when you get home, can you help me install the Simply Safe system into the house? I want my, since our doorbell broke, I really would like to get that fixed. The doorbell's only been broke for like a year. I don't know why you're hounding me like this. You just got to get it done. All right. All right. I will. I'll come to the house when I come home then. Okay. See you soon. Toodles. Stupid honeydew list that never ends. Hi, we've been playing phone tag all morning. Yeah, I think we're both on the phone a bunch, huh? Yeah, and I dropped my phone this morning and the bottom half of the screen doesn't work, so I'm, I struggle to be able to call people and I can't text anyone back. Oh, shoot. But I went and looked at that 780. I'm on my way back from Painesville now. Doorbell, security system, all kinds of fun stuff time. Is that your foot against your ribs? What are you doing? Here, you want me? Just let me get that. Let me get that for you. Let me get that. Is that better? All right, here is where the old doorbell went. It had a really nice camera on it. You could see right out and see who was parked in the front yard and everything. You could watch Didge take a nap and watch Anna at work there. But it took a poo on us, so now we're gonna install the new uh, Simply Cam video doorbell system here. There we go. Look at, that. Look at that. I can watch it live right here. Ooh, there's a dangerous homely looking dude at my front door right now. And I can even talk to it. <laughs> so I got the doorbell installed here. There's almost always a rise in break-ins during the holiday seasons, which is why Simply Safe is now running their biggest sale of the year. This is all tied into my cell phone app. I can see everything. It is monitored 24 seven. If something happens, they will call the police immediately. It's tied in with our entire security system here at the house. As I've mentioned before, we've had some strangers stop by to visit the Millennial Farmer, which is fine, but a few of them have given me the wrong vibe, which is why I've been pretty interested lately in making sure that this place is pretty well locked down. And Simply Safe is what we installed in the other two shops out here in the yard, which it installed super easily, so now we've got it installed throughout the house. And uh, I'm gonna ring the doorbell here and see if anybody's home. Howdy, ma'am. How can I help you? I'm here to walk you through your new Simply Safe security system. Show me how to work this thing then. All right, so right now the system is off. Okay. If you're home, you've got all your doors locked, hit home. 
Automatic deadbolt right there once you activated it. Okay, and now we're gonna shut it off, I'm assuming? Yep. And enter your pin. Alarm off. So is there a way that we can test and make sure all of the sensors are working? Of course there is. Okay, go into menu, enter the pin. Now down to test mode. Mm -hmm. Entering test mode. So we've got the entry sensors on the doors, we've got the deadbolt, we've got the keypad, we've got the glass break sensors, the motion sensors, we've got water sensors, temp sensors, panic buttons, carbon monoxide, fire. So how easy was it to install the system? Super easy. We did it all ourselves. You can order it all online, install it yourself pretty quickly. Right now they're having their biggest sale of the year right before the holidays. And they were even voted US News and World Report's best overall home security system of 2020. Wow! In fact, if any of the viewers out there are interested in their own home security system, they can just check out the link below. Right there. Right down there. Simply say on. Okay, back to work. Yeah, the quad track is still here. I told them we're done with it. We haven't used it in like three weeks. We cleaned it up. We got everything good to go. I don't know if they don't want their tractor back or what. I don't know. I mean, if they want me to have it, that's fine. I'll, we can run it. It'll be just fine. Thunder. Luckily, there is a solar panel on top of this trailer. Right there, it keeps everything charged up, including that work light and the electric jack. Pretty doggone slick, if you ask me. But you didn't. You know what, I think I'm gonna move the red horse here. Get it out of the way because the fluid all system I got to get to in, is, is right behind there, so let's get this horse out of the way. That thing hasn't been running for a couple of weeks. It sat out here in the cold, so I'm just going to let it sit over there and warm itself up, maybe charge itself a little bit. And deal with what I got to deal with. I think I can do better. I don't really think I did do any better, but I've decided to settle. Thunder. Uh oh, I'm hooked. Ugh. There we go. Now, DEF, or diesel exhaust fluid, which for some of you, you may not be aware that that is a real thing now in diesel engines. It's an emission thing. It's basically liquid nitrogen and water. Um, it's urea and water. And uh, I won't get into the technical details of exactly how it works, mostly because I don't know, but I have a little bit in that tank left out there. And this is gonna be out in the cold throughout the winter diesel exhaust fluid does not store real well especially when the temperatures fluctuate up and down so I'm gonna move it into the fluid all tank here this is our def tank that we keep indoors that way it's at a consistent temperature all winter because we don't want this de de DEF we don't want this def going bad make sure we got everything out of the back here which I believe we have And we have a bulk tanker truck of diesel coming before the first of the year here. I'm gonna need both hands for that. Almost needed three. As I was saying, we've got a bulk tanker coming to fill this thing full of diesel, but we have probably not quite enough room in there to get a full tanker in. So I'm gonna to top off Thunder here because that's gonna hold 950 gallons or so at this point. And then we'll have enough room in the tank here. Uh-oh. I guess it takes electricity. Now we're good. The fields are gonna freeze over real soon here. I would 
think. Of course, I thought that like a month ago, but they're gonna freeze over. There's nothing to do in the fields right now. We really wanna stay off of them because they're just kind of soft and muddy. So we stay out of them because there's nothing we need to do right now. Right now, our concentrations are putting together our financial statements and figuring out exactly where we're at. What happened in the last year on our operation? Did we make money or lose money? What do we do with the money we made or lost? And where do we go for 2021? We're buying inputs and uh, paying some rent and figuring out everything as we go forward into 2021. What we're gonna do after the first of the year, we'll concentrate a lot more on work in the shop. I've got a couple of projects in the shop going on that I will definitely do some more filming this year than I've done the last few years. So that's exciting. Also, we have started a second channel called, very fittingly, Between the Rows. It's linked down below. There's not much on there right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna post two there and we're gonna make some different style of videos. It's gonna be much less if maybe no farming at all. Um, we're just gonna, I don't know, see where it goes. It's just gonna be completely 100% for the fun of it. And we'll see what happens. But if you wanna check out some videos that are less to do with farming, check out Between the Rows. That's our new channel linked below. I gotta go this way. I traded pickups. My new one's supposed to be in next week. So I'm gonna grab the stock rims and tires off of this truck and put them back on because the ones on here are mine. All right, somewhere back in this mess should be a set of rims and tires. Found them. Not full yet. It's over 40 degrees out there. I may as well leave the door open and turn the heat off. We really should polish you. That end tube on that unload auger. So I don't know, I'm, I'm mostly worried about resale on it. What's, what are your thoughts on that? Aww, I'm gonna need this. Redo, take two, take two. Look at that wimpy little pretty boy chrome rim. No wonder I took those off. Whoa. Thunder is full. Thunder. All snuggled in for the winter. Back here where it's shaded from the sun so it won't fade. It's wonderful. I'll get to my duck boat later. Same with the pontoon. We're not going on the lake today. I gotta get out of here now, we gotta run to town. If I don't quit working and go to town, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna be back, be back out here tomorrow because the Mendeco's really muddy, and I don't like that. Morning, or mid-morning. It's like nine o'clock, it's a Saturday, and we're mostly froze up here. It's in the lower 20s. So before the sun gets on the black dirt anymore, I better get out here and make a round, clean that thing off. Hey, you two. Ready? Ready? Get her. I'm not as smart as I look, which means I'm not real smart, but I didn't plug this thing in last night. I just thought of it now. I should have plugged that tractor in. We'll see. Hopefully she fires up. Oh no, come on. there we go. She complained a little bit, but I would too, it's chilly out here. The last time we ran this thing, the dirt was a little bit sticky. We've dried up some now, we don't dry much when it's this cold, but at least the top is frozen. And so when we run this in the frozen ground, what it's gonna do is toss all this crud out of here so that this crud isn't frozen in here all winter long. I just want this thing cleaned up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go out there and run it a little bit on the frozen ground, toss this mud out of here. That's really it, and it's a Saturday morning and it's an excuse to run a tractor. They didn't come get that either. Hydraulics are a little slow this morning. Wonder why. 
a little rough in here at eight miles an hour as well. These RTs, they ride nice 90% of the time, but you get them on frozen ground or big lumps, they're not that nice. I'm thinking, I'll go check. Definitely don't need to be running this RT over this ground right now more than I need to. So I'll see if there's any dirt left in here. That didn't take long. A little bit in there, a little there I guess. About half of it out. Haven't gone far. Even the dogs are chasing me. As rough as it is out here, I think I'll just work my way back to the yard here and call it good enough wherever it's at. I mean, let's be real. It's just, it's a Saturday morning and I'm kind of looking for work anyway. So it's easy to invent work when you want it. But it's still justified work. It's a good thing to do, right? I mean, anybody else? Anyone else do that? Well, that mostly worked. I'd say it's successful. 80% of it came out of the baskets. That's really what I was after. I talked to Mendeco and they still own this thing, but we are going to keep it around to run it in the spring. We really like the job it did on the seed bed prep. It did a good job in the fall, but one of the things in the fall is it wasn't getting it quite as black as we would have preferred. Um, but what we can do with this is actually switch to the concave disc blades that they offer. So we're talking about maybe running it like this next spring and then putting the concave disc blades on in between spring and fall. And then in the fall, we can run some tillage with it and probably get the fields a little bit blacker like we want them without having to really go deep. We also honestly just need a bigger tractor so we can pull it faster and it would do a little bit better job. But I'm going to unhook it right here and uh, we're going to keep it around for next year. I should make sure there's no leveling jacks in the back like there is on the strip tiller. Uh-oh. Pretty sure I did that. Meaning our handy little storage spot for the hoses is currently out of commission. I could unbolt it and straighten it, but I'm gonna do that in March instead of today. Yes. Boy, that rarely happens. Now I can tuck this thing tightly inside the shed here where she's all nestled in for the winter. You know what? I think I'll take the 2630 out of here too. I'm also pretty sure we won't need this chisel plow for anything until next fall, so maybe I'll just unhook this. One of the things that I'd really like to do this winter is put NH3 or anhydrous nitrogen on the strip tiller, which means I need a cooler and a rate controller, which this machine has on it from putting anhydrous on with this. So I'm going to just take a peek at that and see how much work it would be to get off there and put on the strip tiller. I don't know if we want to do that, because then obviously this machine wouldn't have it. I'll quit talking. So basically, I've never done this, obviously, but I'd be taking the Raven Super Cooler here, which we haven't used for a couple of years, and I'd need to take the John Deere rate controller, the liquid rate controller we have here in this tower, move them over to that machine sitting over there, I don't think it'd be too difficult. My concern is how much is there inside of here that might need to be cleaned up and gone through, but we'd have to do that anyway. I think I'll make some phone calls and maybe figure this out in January. Oh, it's moving. Oh my gosh. This is a great day. I'm gonna tinker around here and clean the shop up because the bench and everything over here is still a mess. But I wanna say one last quick thing is that FBN, Farmers Business Network, still has some really good discounts going on their direct chemical sales through the month of December. And for qualifying farmers that purchase over $35,000 by March 31st, you can qualify for the 0% Finance Club on that. They are also now offering operating lines that start at under 3%. So check that out if you guys might be interested. Also check out Between the Rows. That is our other YouTube channel we just started. Link down below. Hopefully there's a few videos up on there pretty soon. Thank you guys for watching. Keep it Between the Rows.
Thank <laughs> you.